It's been a disappointing campaign for the Gunners so far. In Arsene Wenger's time in charge here, they've never finished lower than second in the Premier League table. But at the moment, Arsenal are no fewer than 11 points behind Manchester United and a massive 25 points adrift of the champions and league leaders Chelsea. Had so far. Well, they've got some great ability. Everington down the left-hand side, Benny Yoon on the right-hand side. They've got plenty of strikers now. Alan Pardew slowly building up a good squad. How high do you think West Ham can finish this season? Well, you know, I think they're going well at the moment. And uh, I, I, what I did notice, certainly in the Fulham game, there was, I thought, a little lack of confidence, which was strange in a way. You know, they did have a couple of poor results. Uh, you know, Charlton, they, they got beaten by and then Chelsea. Uh, lost at Wigan as well, and then I thought the confidence just dwindled. But then had a couple of good results. But I noticed for periods in that game, the confidence was fragile. So it's some players they've had missing injuries and international call-ups have deprived them of key men like Ashley Cole and that beat Blackburn Rovers in their FA Cup tie. Ivory marks its 2000th game with what should be a very entertaining fixture between two teams who like to get the ball down and play. Getting all the players having a good touch, working those spaces. And danger here for the Hammers. Oh, how on earth did that not go in? Even he doesn't know. Thierry Henry can't believe it. I think West Ham will be disappointed how easily Arsenal get in in the first place. That comes off Lindbergh's knee. They could have easily deflected it beyond. Is he not interested? Senderos. Perez down the left to take on Clark. Forced inside, but he was quite happy to find Van Persie in that position. Oh, another near miss. Yeah, that was great skill. I did think he was going to take it on first time with his left foot. Glup. Strike hits the outside of the post. Gabidon getting twisted every way. Dutchman who takes it. Going back well by West Ham. Gabidon. Well, that's poor. Straight to Jungberg. And the ball over the top is an absolute beauty. Well, just as Van Persie was about. Konczewski's looking, what can I do with it? He's having to go for the big crossfield pass, even that's a very good one. Beautiful ball, isn't it? Hellwood. And to Van Ayun. A real sting in the shot. Tom Ferdinand he just headed it away there, scored an even better one. Oh, there's two unbelievable strikes, aren't there? Now there's a way through for Rio Coca. This could be a surprise lead <laughs> and is totally against the run of play. West Ham are in front. Rio Coca the scorer. Would you believe it? Well, unbelievable. When I was the first goal Nigel Rio Coca has scored since he made his Premier League debut against Blackburn back in August. And the Tom actually won on this ground for 11 years. As Konczewski delivers a useful looking ball for Zamora, they could be in again here. Oh, what a finish! It's unbelievable at Highbury. West Ham are 2-0 up now. <laughs> well, it is unbelievable, you're dead right. I can't believe a mission. West Ham just can't believe that they're two up in this game. Zamora's fourth goal in his last five games and no one in this ground with about 15-20 minutes gone and I think that would have included Alan Ferdinand watching Campbell closely and Percy swings it out Campbell playing it back in on retry to close range shot and off the line by uh, Ben Ayun I think it was and then Jungberg with a wild effort Senderos Konczewski's mistake. Fed into Freddy Jungberg. His lot with the save and off the line again by Ferdinand this time and it's deflected in. And West Ham have failed to keep their two goal lead intact. A weird goal as Pires takes the celebrations. There was a penalty appeal moments before that when Jungberg went down under the challenge from his lot. Actually for Arsenal, Robert Pires finishes this off. 
breaks out to him. Controlled side foot finish, takes a deflection off a cherry on Rion. Well, a bit of debate about that one, <laughs> but uh, like a true striker. Here's Diaby, and there's the half time whistle. And what a half at Highbury. The two of these inexperienced players. In a a good ball and it could be yet danger here as Van Persie tries to pull it back into a good position and wins the corner and the only was furious he didn't knock it into the middle uh, very, very tight in there there's a player that operates in very tight positions with quick feet and this occasion just couldn't quite get it out of his feet to deliver oh his lops missed it completely and got away with it somehow but Still from Henri, and it's cut out to Diaby, and now to Piers. And across to no one really. There's yeah, early striker up there. He's really got to try and hold it up, see if he can get support to him. Well, at the moment, you would suggest it could only be a matter of time before Arsenal score again. Freddie Youngberg, oh, put the outside of the post, I think. Repeated the feat. Arsenal flow forward again. Give it away again. Not for long. Got it back now. Reed beats Clark with ease. But couldn't beat the goalkeeper. It was the finest of angles. Been through the playoffs last season. And the last two clubs who came up that way were both relegated. I don't think that's going to become three out of three. Henri's in a great position in the middle here, but he will have to wait, or will he? As the ball is won back brilliantly by Van Persie, and he got his shot in. Ooh, that might have gone out, now the referee said play on, and Larson returns it to Van Persie. Corner. Well, he's certainly getting held back up out there, Van Persie. And they won it back. And a cross into a dangerous area, and a chance for Evans, and it's gone in! Everington has surely won it now for West Ham United. Just over 10 minutes to go. Pirez in his attempts to keep the ball out only succeeded. It's a strike. It's a little bit unfortunate away. It goes in from Arsenal's point of view, but <laughs> that man's not too bothered about all that, is he? Absolutely not. 10 minutes to go. Everington's goal or an own goal by Pirez. As Paul was quite right, he says. West Ham and Everington couldn't give a hoot at the moment. That's 3 1 up here. Oh! Is there another player who would have had the audacity to even try that? Never mind, nearly put it. Unfamiliar times, unfamiliar faces. But here's one very familiar face trying to bring the back into it. And Percy hammers it straight into the crowd of players. For the freedom that not many other teams possess. But with five minutes to go now. They need two just to rescue it. And they almost got one back there, and a splendid save by his love. I think it was concentration for long periods. This is a great little ball in. Little setback from Henri. It is that scoreline, though. Arsenal one, West Ham three. That's what. West Ham win, but they would have been generous. Perez. There's no way through. Bergkamp hits it, good save again, but turned in this time by Perez. Hold on to your seats, it might not be over yet. Oh, so a nervy few minutes now for West Ham, on the spot, to drive it home. Didn't have time to think about it, just... 3-2. This game out. Larson, the crowd imploring him to... Knock it long, well, we played less than the four minutes allotted. And West Ham United, thanks to an ex-Tottenham Hotspur player, have beaten Arsenal here. Matthew Etherington with a crucial goal. And look at that smile on Alan Pardew's face. A scowl on Thierry Henry's, however, as he disappears back into the dressing room. Arsenal have lost again. That's their eighth 
Premier League defeat of the season.